really I'm just gonna lean back. Dab her out. You're gonna learn how to get this makeup look. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. We're doing a back to school, kind of like glamorous makeup look. Hence the more dramatic makeup than I normally do. So, if you want to find out how to get this look, I am so awkward. Just keep watching. <laughs> so I'm first going to start off with this little moisturizer. It's Promise Organic Facial Lotion. I love, love, love this moisturizer any kind of moisturizer is really good for your face oily skin or not and your skin needs hydration so definitely they make uh, moisturizers for oily skin specific for dry skin whatever it is your face just needs so does your hair apparently your face just needs some kind of moisturizer then the next thing I'll move into is a primer now I used to and I'll recommend the Maybelline baby skin and the elf poreless face primer I don't have a favorite out of these two but I think today I'm just gonna go in with the elf primer they both do a really good job I'd recommend it they're nice and cheap um, yeah I just recommend it. They're drugstore, so they're really affordable. We want to make for sure our primer sits for just a little bit. You get about three minutes. Maybe you could do your brows, or maybe you could pick out your outfit, or do your hair or something. You just want to give it just a little bit to set, because if not, there's no point in even having your primer. So we're going to let that sit just for a little bit. I really like the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. They also make a dewy line in the Matte and Poreless. There's like 40 different shades. It's crazy how many shades are in this. I have the 112. I really like this. It lasts, I wouldn't say all day, um, but it, it'll definitely last your whole entire school day, especially if you have like a powder in your backpack or something just to touch up every once in a while. I'm going in with a Real Techniques Dampened Beauty Blender. It's definitely a really good beauty blender. This foundation, I love how it blends. We're just blending out the foundation. I go into concealer after that. You don't have to use concealer. Obviously, you can do what you want. I use the Fit Me concealer. I love the Fit Me line. I normally do get more bags around my eyes once it's school time because, you know, you gotta do a lot of stuff. You know, it's not like summer. You don't just get a chill. So, and what I like to do is do a triangular shape. You really can't tell your bags underneath. I like to take that same beauty blender that I use for my foundation and I just like to blend it in. Now I don't drag it down or anything, I just kind of dot it out. You don't want to smear it, you just want to lightly dab it out. So I'm going into my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. You could obviously use whatever brow product is your favorite. I really like the pomade. I feel like I have more control. A lot of people feel like they have control with just the pencils. So I'm just going to brush my brows upwards. I like to start right here and kind of just underline the base of my eyebrow. Not too dark. You definitely want to keep your hand very light and at the end of your brush. And then I like to do that right here at the arch. And go back down the tail then I kind of lightly just go back in filling my brows with upward light feather like motions and then I'll kind of meet up with the arch in my brow then I like to kind of just give myself some hairs here right there and then I'll extend the line I have a favorite gel to set my eyebrows with. It's the Maybelline Brow Drama. It's like a little mascara wand that you just brush through your eyebrows and it sets your eyebrows, keeps them in place all day. So I just kind of brush upwards just like I do with the spoolie when I brush out my eyebrows. Then I'll just use my Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage powder. I love this. This is a good drugstore powder. It has tons of powder in it. It's a huge compact. Then I'm just going to take the 
same real technique sponge and I'm going to go in with the pointy end so that way I can really get my under eyes but I go from I'm just gonna bake just a little bit so I just kind of sweep it out you don't not using very harsh movements just sweep it out and then I'm just sweeping out the rest now we've zoomed in what feels like a lot um, that's crazy but anyways now we're going into eyeshadow so what I'm using for this glam look you could obviously find shades in drugstore palettes and different palettes but I use these holiday palettes that I got it's by the Too Faced brand I use the eggnog latte one and the gingerbread cookie one you could obviously use different shades that you have in palettes that work so you don't have to purchase different ones and I'm just gonna set my eye with ginger cream it's basically just this neutral color I like to set start my eye makeup with just a neutral color so with this glam kind of smoky look we're gonna go in the eggnog palette and I'm gonna use Skinny Latte. It's basically just this brown and just to kind of do it on the outer corner and kind of come up. It's a really pretty just brown. A blending brush is essential for my eye makeup, for anybody's eye makeup. So we're just gonna blend that out. And see, see how amazing blending brushes are? You need to get one. I'm using the Lab Squared Just Blending It In Brush. I like this one a lot. I'm going to go in with maple syrup in my gingerbread cookie palette. I'm going to get this angle shader brush. And I'm going to go in just on this little outer corner and kind of angle it in. And I'm, this is just going to make your eye look a little bit smokier. I'm going to take some of that ginger cream, the natural again, and I'm going to add that just to the inner corner just to brighten it up because we need a little brightened up. We don't want to look too dark. And then I'm going to add that same ginger cream underneath my brow bone and then kind of just using my finger to sweep that out just a little. I'm going to use black coffee and gingerbread cookie palette. And I'm going to add just a little dot of that right here just to make that a little bit more smoky. So I'm going to use this huge, huge, huge Sephora palette just for one color. I'm going to use just a black eyeshadow cream to do my eyeliner. I feel like I have more control with eyeliner when I use a cream. But now that my liner is done, I'm going to go into a mascara. And the mascara I've really been loving is the Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes. Okay, so we're going to go into... Pearl bronze it up. I'm going to use this Rue 21 palette. I love it. I love this contour palette. We're just going to warm up the face. It's kind of adding where the natural sunlight would hit me, which would just be my temples, my jawline, my cheekbones, of course. Now I'm going to take my Amelia Night Precious. Color Couture Contour Kit, and I'm going to take this small contour W07 brush by Slow Mist Glam, and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. I like to use a really natural blush for this look. You could go with an edgier one. I don't know. So I'm going to use this Tarte Parte blush. It was a birthday gift at Sephora. I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. I really like the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes because they are very buildable, very pigmented, they last very long. I like Tarte too. Okay, then I like to go into highlight. 
I love doing highlight. We're gonna use this Master Strobing Stick by Maybelline. Super cheap, affordable. I like to just create that line and then just use my finger and blend it out. Then I'm gonna add it to the bridge of my nose. There's like a little ball at the end of my nose because it's so cute. Then I'm gonna add a little bit to my Cupid's bow. This video is probably gonna be like 20 bajillion minutes long. Caitlin, you've got a lot of editing to do. I like to take a powder over top of my creams, a powder highlight, and just sweep some over that. It kind of just sets it like we do with our foundation. Done me. And we're just going to highlight and kind of set our original highlight. On to my like favorite part, lips. The Yacht Day London Liquid Velvet Lip Gloss in the shade Pin Up. I really like the applicator tip to this. It's kind of like triangular. I like this for this like glamorous look. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of gloss on it. I'm gonna use this Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. It smells like cotton candy. And oh my gosh, I love this lipstick. I'm just gonna pop it onto the center. Just to add a little touch. <laughs> so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you stuck to the end, kudos to you. If you haven't already, make for sure you click that big subscribe button and the bell beside of it. That just lets you know when I upload new videos. If you want more makeup looks, comment down below because I had so much fun filming this. I'm no beauty professional whatsoever, but I have fun doing it. So I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye!